Hi, this is a video for how to duplicate the eagle bows in a short amount of time. And But before that, I'm going to explain weapon state transfer and duplication of bows using fuse entanglement. And today, Link is wearing the archaic tunic, the cap of the wind, and the charged trousers. And I think it looks great. Have a look at that little anklet on his left, left foot there offsetting the right shoulder and arm where, well, you know. So now let's get to it. I've got some bows in my inventory. I've got a five shot burst Savage Lionel bow. Take a look at the link in the description for how to get that. And also got a royal bow with full durability and durability up. Now what I've got is two great eagle bows. So what I wanna do is transfer the uh, transfer the five shot modifier to the great eagle bow just to show you how weapon transfer works so i'm going to drop the bow that i want to copy or dupe i want to drop the bow that i want to transform so i'm going to put the five shot modifier from this bow onto that bow so i equip a shield do fuse entanglement I'm actually working on a tutorial next specifically just about fuse entanglement, uh, but you fuse entangle the great eagle bow to your shield. You can see that the bow is on the ground and on the shield. The game's a bit confused, but the bow is invisible on the shield there. But if you drop it to the ground just to see the great eagle bow and the great eagle bow shield, it says here, even though there is no visible bow on the shield. So it's fuse entangled. Now in order to duplicate, well, I don't want to duplicate. In order to transfer the five shot modifier from this bow to this bow, I make sure I've got no bow equipped. So I'm just tapping ZR. Yep, he's got no bow equipped. So he can't pull out his bow. And then I'll pick up that bow. Now I want to switch shields. So I want to switch shields to my other shield and then pick up this bow. Now if I look at my quick bow mem menu, you can see the Great Eagle bow now has a five shot modifier. In order to keep that modifier and make it permanent, uh, because, uh, well, I'll show you. If I pull out the bow, the game thinks it's a Savage Lionel bow, but it's actually a Great Eagle bow. And so to make it a Great Eagle bow, I just equip a different bow and equip it again. And now it is a five shot Great Eagle bow. It did have full durability, but now it only has a durability of 45, which is the durability of the Savage Lionel bow has been transferred over. So it's actually lost uh, 15 shots, uh, but it works like a normal five shot bow. So that's the Great Eagle bow. And it's got a little bit more range than the uh, five shot bow of the Savage Lionel bow. So that's weapon state transfer. Now I'm gonna do it again because that's what I want to dupe. Uh, I'm going to drop my royal bow. I wanna get the durability modifier from the royal bow onto uh, this bow, this great eagle bow. So I'll uh, do that to the, do fuse entanglement on the great eagle bow, the bow I wanna change and then yeah, there it is. And so make sure I've got no bow equipped, pick up the bow and then switch shields and pick up the donor bow. And as you can see, it looks like a royal bow, but it's actually a great eagle bow with all uh, restored its durability and given the durability modifier from the royal bow. So I just switch bows, switch back, now it's a real bow. And Okay, so that's how to do weapon state transfer. Now, in order to actually duplicate a bow, uh, what I want to duplicate is the this one here. So I'm going to get rid of these other bows just so it's a bit less confusing. And I'm going to dupe my Great Eagle bow, the one with the durability up modifier. Now, where did I leave my bows, AS? Over here. So I'll get the Royal Guards bow. No, oh, uh, oh yes, before we dupe the Great Eagle bow, we'll actually do a little bit more about modifiers. So I'm going to uh, transfer the five shot modifier to this bow 
and this bow. So I'll drop them both on the ground and then drop the donor bow. Oops, not a quick drop. Okay, so fuse and tangle. First I'll fuse and tangle the Royal Guards bow. Now someone uh, made a video about this. The link is in the description and I've totally screwed that up so I can't actually demonstrate. So I'll have to use a different bow. Let's use one of these the Royal bow. So now if you transfer the five shot modifier to a single bow, I'll show you what happens now. So now we've got our Royal bow with a five shot modifier, but that's the way it fires. This is an ordinary five shot bow, but if you transfer a five shot to a single shot bow, it sprays like that. Now that's kind of not very good for shooting enemies, but for shooting bright bloom seeds, it actually comes in quite handy. So I, some, I keep a five shot bow on one of my single shot bows, five shot modifier, so that I can do exactly that. Now we want to do the same thing again to the duplex bow to demonstrate a, another glitch, which is called, uh, just gotta drop the five shot bow and pick up, switch shields, pick up and then uh, I'll, well, I'll pull it out. As you can see, it fires like a normal five shot bow. But then if I make the transfer permanent, okay, not only did it have the wider spray, but it also left this floating arrow, which I'm not sure if you can see, there it is. There's a floating arrow right by Link's head. And now if I run over here, The arrows fire from the other direction. Uh, it's hard to see from this angle, but the, it's not firing out of where Link is. The, if I fire a bow here, the, it actually comes out of the arrow. So that's fun. Uh, it's called the Remote Arrow Trap, a glitch discovered by Moz. So I'm just gonna unequip, well, I'm just gonna get rid of this raw duplex bow. And now we will duplicate our Great Eagle Bow. So I'll drop it and I'll even get rid of the Savage Lionel Bow and get, let's grab a, let's grab this Royal Bow and one more bow, yeah, mo another Royal Bow. So I'm going to turn these, oh, I'm going to turn those four bows into this Great Eagle Bow in as fast as I can. So I'll equip the Great Eagle Bow and then start a timer. And so drop the Great Eagle Bow and now Fuse and Tangle. That's not Fuse. Fuse and Tangle. And then pick it up, switch shields, pick it up. And to duplicate, instead of instead of switching weapons, because that will just leave the modifier there, I want to drop that weapon. And now it drops as a Great Eagle Bow. And I should have left it on the ground, because that's quicker. And now we're gonna to go to another Great Eagle Bow. And no bow equipped, pick it up, switch shields, pick it up, drop it, and then go to the next bow. No bow equipped, pick it up. Switch shields, pick it up, drop it, and then here we are for the last one. That little arrow is still floating there, which is fun. And no bow equipped, switch shields, pick up the great equal bow, and then drop the last one. And I went from, well, I'm going to say a minute, but because you can do it in less than a minute, because I took 10 seconds to explain. So I've transferred the durability modifier from the great equal bow to well, I've duplicated my Great Eagle bow by feeding it four other bows and using Fuse Entanglement Desync to duplicate this bow. So that's how to go from one to five in less than a minute. Uh, it took me a little bit longer, but it can be done in, in less than a minute. So that's how to do that.
Uh, thank you for watching my video. My next video will be a tutorial on fuse entanglement, but it might take a little bit longer to actually come out because I've gone to edit it and put step-by-step -step instructions on the screen as well as saying them out loud. So thanks for watching, uh, have a lovely day, and I hope you're enjoying Tears of the Kingdom as much as I am. Goodbye.